Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. So I don't remember exactly what we were doing when we left off. Um, right, we were going to trade for something metal to bury in the bog. That's what it was. Yes, climate. Do I have any food? No, doesn't look like it. Hopefully we have enough to trade. If not, I can make some stuff in the forest outside of a town or something. It's not that big of a deal. Well, I guess he's not hungry. Okay. Well, come on, Bob. We're going exploring. So... I haven't gone far enough north to go into Seal Tribe territory. I kind of want to, because we've seen a bunch of the Sartola villages already. I think heading north would be a good idea. Before we go though, I want to check these real quick. Kind of hoping that they're empty right now but I don't want to lose a large animal if there is one in here because they won't stay the entire time we're gone or at least it's very unlikely that they will actually speaking of, we're gonna need more food I think eight would be enough if it's just me, but between me and Bob it's probably not I'll just take the whole pile. Doesn't matter. Come on, Bob. We're heading north. Hopefully I don't need my punt. That's what? Northeast. That's northwest, not northeast. I can figure out directions eventually. But... Alright, this should be that big lake we saw. Yeah. Hopefully there's no river gap or er, forcing it closed off to us. Okay, straight north from here should bring us in the general area. Let's drink from here while I'm there. So another change I've heard about for this, but I haven't actually tested because I haven't actually played the beta outside of the LP is apparently there is some change to fishing like how the fish are delivered to you not sure what that's all about but I think I might do some fishing when we get back home just to see what's going on with that Okay, so it looks like we're entering some sort of valley. Mountainous region. Villages in the north are a little bit harder to find, I've noticed. Not in this version, but just in general. Alright, where's the settlement? Okay. Northeast. Gotcha. There's a cave over there too. But yeah, um, the northern tribes seem to spread out quite a bit more than the others. Oh, a small child. Wow, it looks like we found like a real village rather than just a couple of... what are they called? Kodas. Uh, F3. 
what's this? Fish and fur. Fish, fur. Okay, that's nothing I care about. More fur. Oh. What do you have? Short bow, arrows, a northern spear would be nice, and a fisher's knife. Uh, trade? Hmm. Sorry, man. You don't have anything I'm interested in. Fur, reindeer cuts, reindeer fur. I think they, f I think Sammy fixed the issue where your dog would just eat food from shops. Looks like this is just a sleeping tent. Ooh, rough fisher's knife. That's exactly what we need. Alright. So that should be marked as unpaid. Yep, right there. Rough fisher's knife is marked as unpaid in our inventory because they know we have it and they know we haven't paid for it yet. If they didn't know we took it, they would actually be, um, it would be marked taken instead, which, no, don't attack, Bob. Um, right, I can't use the arrow keys anymore, that kind of throws me a bit. Um, okay, I just need to pay for the fisher's knife. So I'll offer those two javelins and the poor ones. Not quality, rest is acceptable, very marginal to get those goods for myself. Okay. So that's new. I accept your offer. Okay. Yep, it's a deal. So, now we have a shitty knife that we can use. Do I have a sage around here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, there you are. Um. Great. Teach me the ritual. Thank you. So now we have Banishing the Evil Water Guardian, which honestly I almost never use. Not to say it's a bad ritual. If you're going to be swimming, it's probably worth doing, but I don't swim much in the game. Actually, I don't swim much out of the game either. I used to swim a lot but I kind of can't anymore. <laughs> so that looks like all we're getting from this town. Um, game? Thank you. Kinda wanna check out that cave. Mostly because I haven't shown one off in the LP yet. Alright, where is this place? Looks like it's right here. And yeah, caves are dark. This is where torches come in handy. You can literally only see what's directly in front of me. Or on top of me, rather. 
And it's actually kind of dangerous. Because there could be a bear or something in here. Doesn't look like there was anything though. And Bob's still with us. Bob probably would have barked or made noise if there was anything in there. Because I don't think he cares if he can see because, you know, dogs and their noses and such. It's actually a pretty nice area. Nice and open. I don't know why the game is running so slowly. Probably because I'm zoomed out. Oh, I can't throw food to Bob when I'm zoomed out. Uh, no, not a javelin. Or a cut. Yeah, the game... It seems like Samuel optimized the zooming on the overworld map a little bit, but it's still not great. Still runs very poorly. Alright. So we're still in territory. In their territory, rather. Might be able to find another village. Poor dude. Adventurer. Hey, come back here. What do you have on you? A northern bow. Ooh. Those are really expensive, so I probably can't get one. And I doubt he's willing to trade his bow anyway. Ooh, he is. And a knife. I really want this bow. It's actually quite a bit better than ours. But they're usually really expensive. Tripled. Yeah. Really expensive. Deal. But we have a nice new bow. Take off the other bow. Okay, that was nice of him. I was not expecting to get that bow, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's capital X to exchange weapons. Ooh, it's a bear. What do you think, Bob? Can I talk to Bob? No, I can't talk to him on the overworld. Hmm. How many arrows do I have? Mm. It's tempting, but we're so far from home. I really want to. It's a fucking bear. <laughs> okay, there's a settlement over here. Oh, fuck. Come on, Bob, this way. Wolves on their own aren't that dangerous, really, but... Wow. I was just going to say, but a pack is almost certainly going to kill us. Immediately fatal. Fuck. Oh well. It happens. Fuck. Oh. New character, I guess. Sucks. The character is so well off, too. Ugh. Which one are these again? Mm. 
I'll try the one that's meant to be really easy. I don't remember. I think we were Kiesalain or whatever they are last time. So, female chorus. Huh, no new portraits this time. I think there's a new, um, portrait for some of the men, but it doesn't look like there are new ones for the girls. Oh well. This is a roguelike, it comes with the territory, I guess. I want to be a bit faster. Hmm. I'm just going to sit here re-rolling stats for a little while. <laughs> there we go. That's a good one. They got rid of the phobias too. I don't know if that was in the last version or not. I can't remember. <sighs> so disappointed. I was trying to run away from those wolves too. Oh well. So I definitely want bow. Want trapping. Want um what else do I want? Well hmm. I don't know what else I want. I want stealth. Guess I can take dodge if it lets me. I don't think it does. No. It still doesn't. Huh. Take timbercraft and carpentry. So, I don't know how you guys want me to do this. You want me to off screen getting the character back to like an established character? Or would you rather I just play the character from the start on screen like normal? Alright, where's our starting location? Okay, we're down here right now. I'm going to re-randomize that a couple times. I don't want to be near the Drake. Um, that's usually a good spot to start, but I kind of like being farther away from people. Hmm. Near two of the northern tribes and pretty far out. It's not a bad place, but yeah, that's a good spot. Right in the middle of three tribes. So I'm going to play this character for now, but you're going to have to let me know what you want me to do with her. Like if you want me to off screen getting caught up or what. Um, hmm. I don't know. I think we did traps and trapping last time. The old trap fence is actually a really good one. I've had a few successful characters for that. Hmm. The village is usually really easy. Hurt, helpless, and afraid is really hard. I don't think I can do that one, but fuck it, let's give it a shot. One cold night, as you were wandering through the wilderness, you were surrounded by a group of near Pazit. You were hopelessly outnumbered, but you fought anyway. Remarkably, you slew two of the men as their blades pierced your flesh. However, there were too many, and you simply could not defeat them all. You stabbed yet another of the bandits with your knife, but as you withdrew... Sorry, it's hard for me to read this text color on this background. 
So withdrew your knife from his flesh, you were struck from behind and fell unconscious. Hours passed when you finally regained your consciousness, you found yourself alone, apparently the near visit had left you for dead. They stripped you of your possessions, save for a couple pieces of clothing, and you discovered that your injuries prevent you from performing most tasks. Shivering in the cold, you began to crawl onward, your hand brushing your knife, which had somehow been lost in the struggle. It's a difficult scenario, as you have suffered rather severe injuries, making you incapable of walking. You also lack anything but your knife and a few pieces of clothing. It is very possible to die from injuries you have suffered. This scenario is recommended for advanced players only. Let's give it a shot. I don't expect this to go well. I'm so annoyed that that last character died. Uh -huh. it's so sad. She was doing so well. Oh well. Fresh start in the new beta. So, how are our wounds? We have a bleeding deep cut in our left thigh. So, I think our first step is... Take off our overcoat and make a bandage. Oh, what is it? I can't remember the skill. Is it, um... Position. Alt-P. I don't have any herbs. And I'm pretty sure I... Hmm. I thought I could bandage it. Apparently not. Nope, can't bandage it while it's still bleeding. And it doesn't look like there's any herbs around. And in this season there probably won't be any. So let's put that overcoat back on and try to find something. Because I'm pretty sure we're just going to die from blood loss in a bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just dead from blood loss. Get near the water. Okay, just barely. <sighs> Still no herbs, but we managed to make it stop bleeding. Okay, can we stand up? No. Alright. Can we get branches while laying down? Apparently we can. And I somewhat doubt we can cut down a tree. Yeah. And that's going to make it hard to walk. But we need to find something. sure what to do now. We need to find a slender tree trunk or something. I got those branches because <coughs> we're going to need to start a fire if we ever find any food. And I'm guessing we can't fish with rock. 
Oh, we can. That's weird. I'm not expecting this character to do well, really. Okay, we got a seven pound pike. Start a fire and cook our pike. Complete in a few hours. Just wait for it, I guess. Not much else we can do. Hmm. Yeah, not being able to stand up is making this really difficult, because I can't get a tree trunk or anything for... Um, a shelter or anything like that. Luckily you can use a stone as a club. So, it is at least possible for us to fish. It's not going to last us very long, though. I think our best bet is to head into occupied territory and just try to find a town. So, our best bet is south. And I'm just going to try to make it on what little food we have. Admittedly, a pike is a pretty good amount of food. It's about seven pounds, I think. Yeah, we still can't stand. This is a long crawl. And that's blocked off. There's no way we're getting a um, raft put together. Since we can't even cut down wood or anything. Hmm. I've never actually done this scenario, by the way. Oh. Good, a vagabond. Hand axe, cord, knife, and a skin. Ugh, it's tempting to just bludgeon him over the head with a rock right now. What are our skills like? We have pretty good dagger skill and mediocre club. Do I want to? Would give us some clothing too. No food though. Hmm. Well, we would get food, but it's probably not the kind of food we should be eating. You know what? Fuck you. I need. Did I even injure you? Yeah, serious cut to the skull. Fighting from this position is a really bad idea, by the way. Point to body. Glances off my hip.
Mm. Block. Abdomen. Block. Still hurting me. Fail to do anything. He counterattacks. I'll try to dodge. Well, that went about as well as I expected. Why is it? Oh, I thought that option disappeared when you didn't have a character. Oh. Kind of saw that coming. Hmm. Let's be Seal Tribe. I don't know if I've actually been Seal Tribe yet. Like, ever when I played this game. We're going to start in summer, just so we can get back to winter a little bit faster, or near winter a little bit faster. Apparently they're not very strong, but they're pretty dexterous and light frame. So I think what I want is high speed with about 50% strength. Yeah, like that. Blood stanching prayer and general sacrifice, that would have been nice. <coughs> this episode's probably going to go on a little bit long because I'm playing around with new characters. Ooh, no trapping at all? That's not good. I'll take a little bit in that just to make sure I have a chance. Spear skill is really, got really high though. I can get up to Grandmaster with Spear. It's tempting to do that. I think I will. And I'll leave Bow a bit lower. Mm. I don't want to take a zero in anything really. But I don't know that I have an option not to, because I have two zeros left still. Three, four, actually, but two of them are in weapon skills. I'll take carpentry and building and keep the zero in agriculture. That's fine. Hmm. Seal Tribe is the tribe we visited as our first character for this episode. I'm not going to do the hurt and alone or whatever it's called thing again. I was just fucking around basically. It's actually not a bad starting spot. It's not quite in the middle of nowhere, but it's close enough to nowhere. I think I'm going to do an easier start though. Yeah. Oh, shit. I meant to accept that, not re-randomize it. Come on, put me back in that area. Now I don't want to be too far west. Close enough. And... I'll do the unfortunate hunting trip. <coughs> For as long as you can remember, you had been eager to take part in the hunting trips that the men of your home village regularly made. One day you were old enough to do so, and eagerly awaited the departure of the hunting party. You left with your father and a few other hunters, and traveled further and further away, as the game you were tracking didn't seem to follow their usual annual course. Hold on. I really don't like this font color choice. So... After a week, your father decided to take you back home and satisfied that you had managed to get to get a few good kills. A few good kills, I guess. You agreed. The rest of the men continued the trip. You and your father had been heading back home for two days when you found a fresh, half-eaten elk carcass. Unwilling to encounter the beast, you changed your course a bit, but didn't get very far as your father walking before you stopped. Wait, I heard something. He said, you knelt down, heart throbbing, and watched as your father silently sneaked ahead and finally disappeared behind a big tree. 
horse was very silent for a moment, then a cry of your father was mixed with the sound of an attacking beast. You jumped to your feet and started to run towards the noise. Your father, lying on the ground, bleeding badly. Son, daughter, thank you very much. Asshole. You must go, it's a... Your father whispered, then he was gone. Gives you immediate fighting experience. If you manage to kill the beast, if you can escape from it, you're on your own in the middle of the wild. Yeah. Basically, the thing that killed our dad is still around somewhere. Usually it just wanders off, though. I think it's normally a bear. Well, there's our dead dad. And some glutton tracks. Did our dad die to a badger? Well, wolverine, whatever. Hand axe, a knife, some clothes, a mug, a skin, and some food. Hmm. And we start with a nice bow. That's good. So do we actually start with bonuses to our combat abilities? I guess not. Hmm. Well, I don't see our gluttonous friend anywhere. I'd like to get out of the forest, though. Like so. Excuse me. Wow, he got out of there fast. Damn. So do I have a spear? No, I have a couple knives and an axe. Not terrible, really. Is he still escaping? Nope. into a corner. Or at least run yourself tired. Either way works for me. Where'd you go? Alright, I see you. Come on. I wish you would just run into a dead end. It would make my life a lot easier. But it doesn't look like that's happening. Pretty much wherever this guy stops, I'm probably going to have to build a temporary camp of some sort. fast, actually. Seven kilometers per hour walking. Might be able to keep up with him running. But I think letting him tire himself out is probably the better option here, since we have him in open terrain. I can't believe that fucking wolf one-shot at us. He'd get us in the face, though. 
So I guess it's to be expected. If we can get this guy though, we're pretty much set for food for quite a while. Okay, it's breathless. I'm going to run to catch up to it. And zoom in. Really? Just shoot the fucking thing. I know I shouldn't waste arrows like this, but... Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm... I'm kind of ashamed of our character right now. That was bad. Alright. Whatever. We killed it. And maybe we can salvage a couple of arrows. It looks like there's one in that tree to the north of us. Oh well. It's not that bad. Yeah, we're way overburdened though. And the hard part about starting the season as opposed to spring or winter is that we can't actually it's too heavy to lift really yeah we're not very strong at all that's gonna get annoying fast But we can't actually dehydrate the food, dry the food, like we could with our last character when she started out. Does it in groups of ten like that? But yeah, I'm basically just gonna make this a temporary camp. I don't know if there's any spruce trees around here, but this little puddle will give us enough food for right now, or enough water for right now. Not food. We have enough food from this stag to last us until it spoils at least. So yeah, leave it in the comments if you want me to do most of the early game stuff off screen. Because I'm not going to be able to record for the next couple days anyway, because of the holidays and all that crap. So I might be able to get quite a bit done on my free time during that, and then by the time the next episode comes out we could have like a decently set up place. Or I could just record all of this early game stuff again that you've probably already seen if you've been with the series a while. But it might be different because of the new version, so I have no idea. Oh, 
Alright, I should eat roasted food first. start working on the skin and then try to find a spruce tree out here. And that way we can set up a quick shelter. Two containers to fill with water at least. This character gets fatigued really quickly. That could be a problem. Right, can I see a spruce tree from here? I can't. Good. So getting a shelter won't be too hard. There's plenty of small trees around. I do need to work on this hide soon though because it will rot. Getting an early stag is definitely a lucky break, though. Make building shelter. I need to make some javelins, too. Regular axe, drop the rough knife. Wear. Well, I have shoes, I can wear the footwear and the overcoat. That should keep us warm. Yeah, we're pretty warm. That's pretty much fine for the time being. We're getting close to like 50 minutes. I'm going to cut it here and I'll see you next time guys. Bye!